Hey folks, it isn't very often that I do an intro to a video, but uh, I'm doing an intro to a video. Uh, this was a really, really good hunt, and I just wanted to uh, preface that a little bit um, and uh, say it's been a, a good while. It's probably been at least a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years uh, since I've dug two guns in one hunt. Um, and that happened again um, this time, which is pretty astounding. It's just like I can't hardly even um, think about that. But, uh, but nonetheless, that's what happened. And uh, yeah, uh, we also got some amazing silver, uh, really old silver coins. So um, all I can say is watch this. Hey, folks, I just kicked that with my foot. And I think that is a double barrel shotgun. Sure as heck is. It sure as heck is. That's the back end of it. That's the bottom. That's the top. That sure as heck is a double barrel shotgun. Wow. I'm trying to shield you all from the wind. It is whipping around today. Goodness gracious. Um, but wow. I love it clean that up in electrolysis find so many of these I think every just about everybody here had a side-by-side -side, so very cool I love that relic awesome <laughs> hey everybody digger curl just got a silver and it beeps like half dime so I don't think it's a trime it's got a reeded edge um, I'm super excited about that <laughs> all right so um, let's rinse this off what do you say um, Hey everybody, this is Digger Girl Silver. It is definitely a Cedar. You can see Seated Liberty right there. Looks like 1846 or something. I, don't, I can't tell. The wind is whipping around here. You can definitely see the stars. It's very crusty. Um, that's the reverse. I'm not going to do too much to it, but that is definitely a silver. Woohoo! Hey everybody. I think I might have just pulled a two piece button here. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking period. No shank, I don't think. Oh, there is a shank. It's just pressed down. Come on. Be something good. Be something good. Be something good. What are you? This old silt. What are you? Huh. All right, let me, let me rub on this a little bit, kind of gently clean it, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm actually pretty thrilled. Um, when I was rubbing on that a little bit, you can see there's a D in the shield, and that is an Eagle Dragoon. Uh, it's got the shank attached, but it's just been over. I'm actually really thrilled with that. Um, very cool. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to cleaning that. Um, awesome. All right, let's keep digging. All right, this is Digger Girl's find. This says President, and that was some sort of a figural clay pipe. I mean, that red clay uh, it makes me think of Pamplin, um, but I don't, I don't know that it's that maker it's just really really cool um and it says president in two spots there does it say president in two spots does that say fillmore yeah millard fillmore is that what that says i'm not sure totally okay so that's that's who that was originally on that pipe before it broke really really cool all right, great find. Woohoo, let's keep digging. Well, Digger Girl just did something that I would do, totally do. She's like hunting around for this target forever and um, in the hole. And uh, that's, that's actually a magnet. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> I've only dug one other magnet in my life and I put it on my refrigerator because I was like, let me get this out of the ground and away from my search coil. <laughs> Um, where it can do some serious damage. That's so weird. 
pretty strong magnet. Let's drag it behind us to remove the iron. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, everybody. I've got a marble here right on top. Pretty cool. It's uh, kind of plow, plow chipped, but all right, back at it. Folks, that is a boot pistol barrel right on top of the ground. Oh yeah, it totally is. That totally is. Holy cow. Because there is the hollow. There would have been another piece like this, the butt, the butt end of that there and then this little top here i'll bet you anything when i electrocute that that's going to be a nipple there for a percussion cap incredible Ugh. that's awesome all right you don't find the iron ones very often back at it and this is digger girls find that is a setting from a ring faceted stone let me put a little water on it here. Yeah, almost purpley, purpley red. Pretty cool find. I love that. All right, back at it. Well, folks, this big boy was a screamer. Wow, what kind of buckle is that? Brass. Pretty cool, whatever it is. Horse tack, I'm sure. But man, giant. It's reading like a silver dollar almost. All right. Well, that is the familiar shape of a parasol runner. If you want to know the difference between a runner and a top notch, you can Google it. Or if you want some really great information, you can check out my upcoming Relic ID book. All right, cool. Well, I've got a marvelous find here. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, marvelous find. Cool, coolio. Hey everybody, I just uh, found that. That's a fragment of a finger loop from a tin bodied planter's lamp or skater's lamp mid 1800s to late 1800s and also found this this is kind of a weird thing it's a very leafy find i have no idea what that is oops and i dropped it um i have no idea what that is um no clue probably need to find the rest of it to figure that out all right hey everybody y'all just ever lay on your back and look up at the sky when you're out digging some nice clouds out today. <sighs> the older I get, the less energy I have. Sometimes I just like to sit. And it's a beautiful day. So, my wife's got the fever. She's out there swinging up a storm. And I'm just laying here, half dead, passed out. I'll get back at it in a second. I've already got some good stuff today. So, the rest is... Line up, as they say down here. Well, Digger Girl woke me up to uh, show me a little suspender clip piece, a little suspender buckle. Um, I'm trying to get out of the habit of calling them clips, but they are suspender buckles. You can tell where the little flange was. It had the little piece that rotated to grip the fabric. But all right, I don't know. Back to sleep. Back, back up to dig. Probably back up to dig. Hey everybody, it is time for the finds wrap up. Um, up here at the top, I got this giant, giant buckle. Please excuse my awful dirty fingers. I've been doing electrolysis today. I got this giant horse buckle. Don't know what that's from, but that's definitely one of the bigger ones, if not the biggest brass composition one I've found. Uh, this weird piece I thought was maybe a pan from like a scales. Um, but it does have some writing on it. It appears to say no and then B-A-N-D, no band R. I don't know what that is. This piece, I'm wondering if that's actually from an, a whale oil lamp burner top. 
Um, I haven't seen too many things that are that oval size. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know, but that's my hunch is that it's maybe from a whale oil lamp top. Some sort of a suspendery clip piece. I've got a little keyhole. Um, these brass rings are usually from horse tack, but they might be from other things as well. Um, ironstone china, a uh, fragment zipper, little tiny baby spoon, some pocket knife bolsters. Uh, this is probably from a uh, carpenter's brace. Um, and I've got two uh, hinges from, from folding boxwood rulers. Um, so some work related items there, tool related items. One uh, old brass nail. And down here on the second line, I've got, uh, oh, we've got a lot of these. These are all of our finds together. We've got a lot of uh, prosser buttons, some baby doll arms, this little pipette or applicator that was cobalt blue glass. Um, fair number of marbles, some fragments of marbles, um, kind of neat. One hutch stopper fragment. This is definitely a uh, piece of a lady's pocket watch or similar, like the guts from it. Um, two, uh, this is a, uh, that's probably a uh, runner, and that's probably a top notch. Yep, from a parasol. Got a, could be a diaper pin piece, could be a horse blanket pin, probably a diaper pin. Um, got a uh, collar stud and some aluminum buttons and one wheat. And then down here on the third row, some suspender items. One suspender ring, a couple of beads, um, pretty old. Got a uh, corset busk clasp. This weird leaf piece, I don't know what that is. It's got uh, encrustation from being in a trash pit, so not quite sure what that item is. Maybe I'll find more of it and be able to ID. Um, this is definitely uh, an end from a folding dirk or um, similar large knife. Uh, you can see those types of, uh, I don't know, it's almost like a crown shaped end, um, bolster end on those. And that's, a, those are usually 1840s and 50s era. Got one Spencer casing, uh, Civil War era. Got uh, one fired mini ball or maybe carved two round balls. And I found a uh, one of these little uh, Apothecary weights, most people think that's 3-I-I, but it is the symbol for dram, and then I-J, so I-I, basically the, the last one is a J always to keep people from forging in the shorthand so that you couldn't forge the, uh, the prescription at any rate. Um, so that is drams, two. So two drams, so that should weigh, um, and you see on the back here it does indeed say, looks like maybe two, yep, number two. Um, and that's a quarter of a Tory ounce. Got this uh, weird fan piece. It looks like it's made out of pewter. Uh, buckle, planter's lamp. The shotgun um, was in bad shape. You can see where the percussion caps went um, here. So it's a black powder shotgun. Uh, I sealed it up the best I could. I got as much encrustation off as I could, but it was not in good shape. But this is really cool. One of the two barrels was loaded. Um, with birdshot, so you can see that right there. Pretty amazing. Um, here's the boot pistol barrel. That's pretty awesome. Um, I just pulled it out of the soup. I've not finished it yet. I gotta do the tip here. Um, turn it the other way in the tank. But uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, that boot pistol, the dragoon button, the eagle D, and then my wife's half dime and that is about an 1848-0 oh, it looks like it's pretty encrusted from being in the in the trash so that's the finds wrap up thank you all for watching catch you next week